What's going on, believers and Bitcoin enthusiasts? Guys, a couple days ago, I told you we were going to 21K. You looked at me like I was crazy and said, there's no way that Bitcoin goes to 21K. Well, guess what? We're trading at 21,093 right now. We went exactly to 21K, but we also went almost to 20K in the overnights before a big rally just happened a little while ago. Is it going to sustain? Probably not because the Fed meetings today and Bitcoin is probably preparing to dump a little bit harder and go a little bit lower. And we're about to feel it right now. But remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see right here, we're checking out the Bitcoin price and we see we're trading at twenty one thousand sixty five right now. Uh, that was a bottoming out at twenty thousand one hundred and twenty nine just a little while ago. This was a 5 a.m. number central standard time in America. Where Bitcoin had bottomed out, but we have not even heard about the Fed using a bigger basis point increase today. Uh, but remember, guys, this is what I told you was going to happen. When we were trading at 28000 and everybody was feeling like maybe we were going to stave this off, I kept telling you, we're going to 21000 It's coming down to 21000 Now, here's the thing. We're going to go lower. It's about to go down. Remember, the 85% number is going to be about sixteen k. So we are about to head into territory that we have not seen in a very, very long time. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why is it going so low right now? Why is it doing all this? Well, there's, you know, the indicators, you know, what's going on with the recession everywhere. You know, what's going on with the economies everywhere. You know, what's going on with Ukraine and, 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 and Russia, you know, all of these things that are going on, but let's take this one step further. Bitcoin drops towards 20 K amid contagion risks in the crypto market, not real contagion, but this guy's using cute words. Uh, but here's what we're talking about. Celsius. We're talking about Terra Luna. We're talking about Tron. All of these tokens that are pegged to, to that have a, a token pegged to USD, they're starting to fail. And Celsius, the crypto lender, is no longer able to meet its obligation for withdrawals. So guess what? People are losing billions of dollars in this market. And it's not, it's not billion, it, it's just money that's evaporating based on the price action. If Bitcoin slips down to, I think it was 16K, uh, if it slips to 16K, Celsius is going to be liquidated because there's no hope. And guess what? Bitcoin is going to 16K. Now, we've been told that Celsius is scrambling right now uh, to find help in this situation. But I mean, let's face it, guys. We're in a bad situation. If you are over leveraged, if you are, um, if you've, if you've put yourself in a bad situation, there may be no getting out of it right now. And that's just a sad fact right now. And the U.S. economy, which really kind of pegs you, which really kind of pegs it here, uh, is at 8.6 on a year to year basis, uh, which is more than it was last month because it, it can, inflation continues and continues and continues to move upwards. The Fed's going to have a meeting today and we're going to see where we go. But the numbers do not look good. They do not look good when you check this thing out and you see here this price action is not supporting um, higher levels. And, and it, you know, we're going to probably have a little pump today because this is going to be the final pump before the big dump. Everybody's trying to make a little bit more in their bag so that they can buy in a little bit better on this dip a little bit later on today. That's what the pros do. That's the way this thing works at its finest. But here is the next point. Regardless of all that, Price Waterhouse Cooper, majority of crypto fund managers surveyed predict Bitcoin could reach 100,000 by year's end. Now, you were not hearing that last year. You heard that from a couple of people, but you did not hear that from big accounting firms. You did not hear that from big hedge fund managers. You didn't hear that from the big people. You heard it from outliers. You heard it from people like Michael Saylor. You heard it from the outliers, Tim Draper. Um, very good, very good investors, but let's face it, they're outliers. They have a positive uh, bullish aspect on anything that has to do with Bitcoin. They're not very objective, but uh, PricewaterhouseCooper, a big four accounting firm, published its fourth annual global crypto hedge fund report last week. Um, and it says the data of the report comes from a survey conducted in April across a sample of 77 specialist 
crypto hedge fund managers, adding that their total assets under management were $4.1 billion. They believe that the median prediction of Bitcoin price for this year is 75,000, with a majority of them saying that it's going to reach 100,000. So <clears throat> this was taking place uh, before Terra happened. And they went back and they re-asked the same question to these guys. And guess what? They still felt the same way. So this is where we are. Remember, this market is set to run. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take some positive impetus coming from different factors of the market. Inflation is going to have to get under control. Uh, the Ukraine-Russian conflict is going to have to get under control. Uh, the world markets are going to have to start producing again. And then things are going to start getting real crazy. But don't take my word for it, because here we go. These are the longs and these are the shorts that are happening right now at this very moment. And guys, this is what's happening right now at this moment. There are a massive amount of longs being played. There are a minimal amount of shorts being played. Now, if you are the pros and that's what you're doing, what are you telling the world about the price? The price is about to moon. It's about to go upwards, and it's probably going to go pretty quickly. So I think we're all best served by having a little bit of patience, letting this play out, because we're about to see a reversal, and we're about to see, we're going to see a dump. We're going to see this thing go back down today, maybe to 16. We're going to see it. Then after that, we're going to start seeing a large pump in the crypto market because guess what? Institutional, they're going to settle themselves in. They're going to buy this dip. They're going to buy this thing big. And then the rest of us are going to get in on top of them. That's the way it always works. Moving on. All right, guys, there's no reason to feel bullish about the Bitcoin price at this moment, but I still feel bullish about the price right now because all of the indicators and all of the indices from the current price pump that's happening right now, which is before the market starts to correct itself and head downward from the Fed meeting today, uh, from everything that the hedge fund managers are saying, and from um, the, the clearing out, basically, of Terra Luna. We're behind, it's behind us now. Um, I think we're ready to move on. Uh, we have to deal with Tron. We have to deal with Celsius. Uh, if Bitcoin pumps, then the collapse is over and it's not going to happen. And the longs are now betting predominantly, and I mean by an 87% margin. They are predominantly predicting that we are about to go on a massive sort of run. And that being the case, why bet against it? So pack your bags, guys. I think we're going to be on a ride. I'm going to pack mine, but I'm going to wait until this dip happens. This is not financial advice. My name's Bleeds, and I'm always right. And we'll see you on the other side. I'm looking for the good life, good life. Sitting on top of the world, I want to be shining.